Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use conditional formatting and the repeat function in Excel in order to draw our attention to extra large or extra low values. So let's assume I have a series of values. Let's zoom in on this a bit. And I'm just going to do equals ran between 90 comma 200. And then I'll press control enter to insert those values. So I've got a, some random numbers in here now. Now pretty easily we can select this range of cells, head over to conditional formatting on the home ribbon. I'm going to do icon sets and I will pick the little circle shapes here. Click those and those gives us cute little uh, colors. Mine look a little bit blurry. I think it's just because I'm zoomed in so much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that range of cells and conditional formatting, manage rules, and I'm going to edit this just a wee bit because I only want it to be green if it's higher than, let's say, 80% of the range. And we'll do yellow. As soon as I do that, yellow is going to change to less than 80. And let's say yellow will have to be greater than 50%, which means it'll be red if it's less than 50%. There we go. Click that and great. And by the way, these numbers will re-randomize if I autofill down. All right, well that's pretty good, but let's try something else. Off to the side, I'm going to do an equals repeat function. Now the text that I want to repeat over and over is just going to be the pipe symbol, shift backslash, comma. Now how many times do I want to do this? Well, I want to take the value to the cell just to its left and divide by 10, closing parentheses and that's going to give me this repeating bar look and I'll auto fill that down. All right, well that's pretty cool too. Now I have, it's almost like a spark line in a way. It's like a little baby chart inside of a cell represented by a value. However, since I only have one value, spark line wouldn't be really good for this. But I have another visual indicator of the small and large values in there. I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to do some conditional formatting. I'm going to click on my first repeating bar, little fake spark line here. I'm going to do a conditional formatting. This time I'm going to do a new rule. Let's use a formula to determine the cells. My formula is going to be equals to, I want to see if the value, in this case I'm picking on D2, my first value, if that value is greater than the average of all of these values closing parentheses. So if my key value is greater than the average, well then I want it to, I want my little bars to be different. I'm going to go ahead and click on format and let's see. I will it's a, it's a font, so I'll make it bold and the color will be Let's just choose green there. Click okay. Click okay. And we can see that it kind of happened here. So this one must be greater than the average. Now, obviously, if this first number was smaller, like 100, then I'm going to lose that conditional formatting. Now I want to modify this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on conditional formatting, manage my existing rules. Now, if I didn't see my rule there, I would change it to this worksheet. I want to get the whole, make sure I get the right one. So let's see, I'm going to click this. And instead of applying it just to E2, I want it to apply to E2 through E13. That takes care of that. There's probably one more thing I'm going to need to fix, but let me click OK just to see. All right, well, let's do this. Conditional formatting, manage rules, and let's get my entire worksheet. And basically, my original rule, you can see it was based off of dollar sign D, dollar sign 2. That's an absolute reference. So let me go ahead and edit this rule. And I want to make sure that the row is relative. So that'll be the number. I'm just going to get rid of that dollar sign right there and I'll click OK, click OK, and now we'll see we get some values that are green. To emphasize this, I can take all of these cells and color them gray, but of course my conditional formatting will override that. So now we can see that my values that are greater than the average are going to be bold green. And let's see, let's go ahead and uh, autofill these down and that'll re-randomize them. And we'll see that we now have conditional formatting rules applied in two different situations. We've got an icon set that gives us a visual for the high, medium, and low values. But we can also play around with the repeat function and repeat some character or symbol a certain number of times in relation to the value cell. And then if we apply conditional formatting to that one, we can 
have some other visual indicator of the value. Thanks for hanging out with me.